Steve, I'm going to guess that after 40 minutes of play, you weren't exactly pleased with what was occurring. You no, know, we went in after 40 minutes and basically, you know, we diagrammed where we've got to get the puck to. And, you know, we had to do a better job against Thomas Volkun. This, this is one of the best goalies that's played in the National Hockey League for, for a long time. And we had to do a better job making his life more difficult. So, thankfully, they stayed true to that plan. And I thought we played, as you said, a real good 20 minutes. And we said, give ourselves one shot to get our goalie out. And you never know what happens. But, thankfully, we didn't have to get to that point. Garrett Sparks was solid over the course of the entire 60 minutes. A couple of goals, but uh, you can't ask for much more than what he delivered. No, and with the players that we've got out of our lineup right now and the team that we played here this afternoon in Wilkes Park, that's a very good team. That's a veteran-laden hockey club. Uh, we have a number of young players in our lineup, as you know, when you look at the Herzogs and the Verhages, uh, the Ewins, um, when you look at uh, uh, Eric Knodel playing, uh, a very uh, inexperienced hockey club right now. So to do what we did in the third period, I'm very proud of our group. The design, I'm sure, over the course of the weekend was to get those bodies in the lineup. Is there a change of plan over the next three games? Yeah, that'll change now. We'll we'll probably play definitely against uh, Binghamton. We'll probably look to play more of a veteran team ourselves. But we also need some players to get back, and that'll be up to our medical team to see which players are able to come back uh, against Utica. And then finally at home. At home, we want to make sure that uh, we've got probably what we're going to start our playoff round with, uh, as, or at least as close as possible, at home against Rochester. What are your thoughts on the young guys and how they performed today? You know, good. I think, you know, Fabrice, this is all new to him. Um, you know, but it's nice to see a player that's come over to North America. Uh, he's used to the size of the rinks. He's used to the style of play. It's the pace and the strength. We knew that coming in that he's got to continue to get stronger, and I think he would be the first to admit that. Carter Verhage, you could see what he did. He, he won a big face-off to, to, uh, face to win uh, to get us that big T.J. Brennan goal, and just a very smart player. And, you know, I played him with Stoppitz and Devan, two uh, very strong physical-type players, but as he gets bigger and stronger over the next couple of years, he'd be a guy that we slot in that one-two role.